Wait a second. What just right. happened? Right. I'm confused too, Steve. So It's your girl Chantelle, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. We are back today with more Resident Evil Cold Veronica. Um, last time we played, we we got through a lot of stuff. It's been a while, uh, a couple of weeks now, I think. Um, this is going to be a late Sunday upload. Um, I'm recording this Saturday. Uh, it's supposed to be for Saturday. My apologies, had a lot going on this week, but I did go ahead and still get it uploaded, guys. Um, because, you know, we definitely got to make sure we get our Resident Evil in. And here we go with this tripod falling. Sorry, y'all. But anyways, um, I am glad to be back. Because, you know, Resident Evil is one of my all-time favorite games as well. Uh, so we for to go ahead and get into this gameplay, guys. Hope everyone is doing okay. Staying safe from this pandemic. You know, and, you know, just, yeah, keeping warm. Because it's definitely cold in Illinois here. So, um, yeah, let's definitely go ahead and get back into this gameplay, y'all. And let's do it. All right, here we go, y'all, with some Cleo. I don't remember what all we did last time. I gotta really look. Okay, so last time we got the key, which we gonna use at the palace. Um, and then what else do we got here that we need to use? Um, let's see. So what gun should I take? Oh yeah, we also did we get the lockpick? I believe we got the lockpick too, y'all. So let's go ahead and open this up since we got the lockpick now. Cause remember last time when we played, we had Rodrigo and you know, he was up there tripping saying, oh my gosh, like, I didn't need your help, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, okay. Even though, you know, it looked like you took that homostatic hum to me and I said the word wrong, way wrong when I played it, but it's okay though, it's totally fine. Okay, um, let's see. So we turned that into a special gun which was awesome. I think it's like a fast gun now. And then let's go ahead and open this up real quick and see what's going on in that. Cause we need as much bullets as we can. So let's see. All right, so we got some power, power bullets here. You can put that in that. Yes, yes. And then what else do we got going on? Just wanna make sure we got everything stopped up y'all so we can be ready to play. Let's see. Let's go ahead and head over to the palace, y'all. See what's popping up over there. Um, because we, we pretty much stocked up on everything. So let's do this. It's been a hot minute since I played this. So excuse me if I do tend to get out a little bit. <laughs> I believe the palace is back this way. Why do I feel like I've never played this before? I guess it's been that long. But it really hasn't though, that's the thing. It's not, it's not like it's been like a whole month. I guess it's just been a little minute though. All right, so we know we still got the alarm going off because there was nothing we can do in that lab. As we could saw, as we saw in the last gameplay, and if you, have yet, if you have yet not checked it out, definitely check it out. It was crazy. It was a bunch of those slitter things popped out and you know, I was trying to play with them and dance and ooh. And yeah, they, they didn't like it. And it was really bad. All right, y'all. So we made it back here. Let's go ahead and get to this palace. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Since we got that uh, thing now. And I am so sorry, y'all. My cat is in the background messing with stuff. I do apologize about that sound if y'all heard that. Because I don't know what that was. But we not for to do that today. We, we not. Greetings. Oh. You must be the lovely Claire Redfield. Oh, no, y'all. Who are you? Let's just say that I'm a ghost. Coming back to haunt your 
dear. Oh, Whisker? It seems there's not much explaining to do, is there? I was the one who attacked this island. Who'd have thought you'd be hanging about? So we got Wesker, y'all, <laughs> as y'all may know. All the better for me. Evil now that the cat dragged in this nice surprise, your ever so caring brother oh, wow. will definitely show up. I must thank you for being such good bait. I don't know what went on between oh? you two, but you have them all wrong. My brother is not the kind of person you right? think he is. <gasps> I despise Chris. We know, Wesker. <gasps> What are you gonna do to him? Oh. Oh, why she gotta make all those noises, y'all? Oh, how your brother will weep to see you die. <laughs> what? What is it? Stay there. I'm coming. Dang. Come on, she's a lady, y'all. It appears you may be of some further use to me. I'm going to let you live a little longer. Oh. And he comes out with some creepy red eyes. Okay. We all know that he ain't human, so. All right. So, as y'all can see, we just encounter Wesker. And he has a very strong vengeance against Chris, even though Chris ain't do nothing to him. But, yeah. And here we are with all the zombies again. And I thought I got rid of all of y'all. Okay. We, we can do that. We, we, we can definitely do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and head to this door first over here. Since we already down here. Um, I don't know where all these zombies came from. I swear they be tripping. But it's okay, though. It's totally fine. So what we got going on in here? It said it's locked. Well, yeah, use the key, lady. Oh, we don't need the key no more. Cool. All right. More room in the inventory for us, y'all. All right, y'all. So it look like we got some little museum or gallery here. Interesting. All right. Message to the new family master. Sir Afrit. Congratulations on your succession as the master of Ashford family. I hereby present you with an earthen vase according to the Ashford family tradition. As you may know, this tradition first began when a butler presented a golden teacup as a commemorative, I hope, to Veronica. As founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. The second and third master, Stanley, and his, sir, and his son, Thomas, were presented with similar teacups. It was their hope to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. The position of family matter, master then shifted from Sir Thomas, he was my reading today, y'all, to his twin brother, Sir Arthur. It then went to Sir Edward, your grandfather, that was when the Ashford family enjoyed its golden age. It was also Sir Edward's achievement that established a large chemical enterprise, Umbrella Incorporation. However, when Sir Edward passed away and your father, Sir Alexander, Succeeded the position, the glorious Ashford family gradually began to sink. I sincerely hope that the Ashford family regains its glory with your guidance, just as this face continues to shine eternally. Scott Herman, butler of the Ashford family. All right, so as y'all can see, we had some memo going on. Um, it's the same child from the projector. It says, trace the Ashford legacy, reveal the true master. There's a button below. Well, we don't want to press that button yet because I believe we got to do something in this room before we push that button. So let's not push that yet. Alrighty, starting to play the game in three, two, one. Alrighty. Spinning, 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 spinning. <laughs> but, um, okay, so I guess that letter kind of was supposed to tell us what button we need to press first, second, and third. So maybe let's try to go ahead and relook at that. <laughs> let's see. Oh wow, I didn't even know she had all these books. Well, we don't want that. Let's see. Memo. Okay. All right. So let's see. So um, let's look at the clues here. So they said first it was Veronica with the lady. Okay. And then the second and third masters was Stanley and his son Thomas. 
They have similar teacups, okay? And then after that, we had Sir Thomas, his twin brother, and then his Sir, Ed Sir Edward, his grandfather after that. And then after that, we had Sir Edward. And then he passed it to Sir Alexander. All right, so that's a lot. Um, let's go look at these pictures and look at age and all of that, y'all. So we can hopefully get it right. Let's see. So we know for a fact that a lady is first. So the only lady picture here is her. So let's go ahead and press her first. And then they said something about, um, I guess, um, the dude with the twins, right? Is that, is that what we're saying next? The dude with the twins? Uh, I'd hope. Yeah, okay, so it was the dude with the twins next. And then we got to figure out these twins apart. So we got him. Then we got him. And then we got this grandfather. And then we got him. This is complicated, y'all. I really don't feel like doing this. And this camera keep falling. Oh, my gosh. All right, y'all. So we're going to have to try to go ahead and figure this out real quick. Because, uh, yeah. As we can see, this is going to be a little complicated. Because we have to figure out these pictures. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I guess do that. So after doing my reading really deeply, um, <laughs> it is the lady first for sure. And then we gonna do him. And then they said something about a twin, the, bo the boys, we gotta tell them apart. So I believe, let's see here, we got him and then we got him. So I believe it's him first. He got a plate. Or is it with, let's see what the other dude got. <laughs> okay, he got a tea set. So we gonna do him with the tea set. Him with the plate. And then I believe it's this dude with the candle, I hope. And then this man with the freaking book. And let's see if we did it right, y'all, at this camera. I am so sorry, y'all. Y'all probably like, wow, what is up with this camera? All right, let's see if that worked. And it didn't. That was a fail. All right, well, that was totally a fail. So we're going to do that again, y'all. My apologies. I thought that was correct. I guess not. All right, so we know it's her for sure first. Shaking my head, y'all. And then it's the dude here. Maybe it's him first. Let's try him first. And then uh, him. Okay. And then maybe uh, him, I hope. And then him. I really hope I did this right this time, y'all. I really hate, I really ain't in the mood today for puzzles. I'm just being real, but hopefully this worked this time. Let's see. Okay, so that definitely wasn't right at all. And this camera still irritating me. This gameplay today is just irritating me all day. Okay, so we're gonna try it again, y'all. It looked like we fail in big time. All right, so definitely her first, we know for sure. And then we got him. So who are we doing wrong here? Okay. Maybe, maybe it's the old dude first. Maybe y'all. I hope that's right. Let's try the old dude first, and then maybe it's the dude with the candle. Maybe because I'm failing very bad today on this gameplay, but it's totally fine. Let's see if maybe that's it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that worked out. I am so sorry, y'all. You know what? It happens. It is what it is. And then I'm so sorry for this camera. I really need to get me another tripod because I don't know why it keeps doing that. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and try to see what's going on with this. All right. 
All right, and we have a ant. Okay, and I believe that's for that castle when we go back to the palace. Remember those little music boxes? So I'm guessing that's what we're going to use that for. So yeah, let's go ahead and head over there, y'all. Yes, yes. Hello? Well, let's make sure ain't no more zombies coming because we got enough with them in the last game to play, y'all. My goodness. Oh, no, no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No, uh-uh. No. Now, the question is, is that we already going in with that music box? I don't believe we did when we played the music with the, the note thing. I don't even know, but let me check, y'all. Like I said, it's been a hot minute. And I'm having like huge brain farts today with this gameplay, but it's okay though, cause I'm still playing it and you know, we still, we still gonna have a good time. How about that? So let's see here. All right, so we did not play that music box yet. So we need to go ahead and do that y'all. Um, so we can get the other, the other ant. So let's go ahead and do that. No, and I know for sure that I had got rid of the dang on um, zombie up here for sure, which is good. Right, let's see. So yeah, we still gotta put this in there. So let's go ahead and do that. Play some music real quick. Okay, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, let me stop y'all. All right, so we got both of the ants now. So now we for the head to the palace and see what these ants unlock. Cause that's what we need to head to now. Um. And yeah, this song is very depressing. Very depressing. All right, so let's head over doll. Hopefully ain't a bunch of zombies again, but we gonna stack up on some bullets before we head over there, y'all. And probably maybe put a quick save in just to be safe. Cause I do not got time to get out, y'all. We made a lot of process. Well, kinda, in a way. So yeah. All right, so let's see here, y'all. Um. Okay, so we got health. We got plenty of health that I brought. I got my handgun bullets. I got my bow and arrow. I feel like we're pretty stocked and ready to go to go over there. Um, like I said, I am going to go ahead and put in a quick save just to be safe. Um, let me see. Where's my equipment? Okay. We do want to make sure we good on that so we don't get out. All right, y'all. So we pretty much stocked and ready to go. So now we for to go ahead and head up over there. And yeah, see what's going on, y'all, with this, these two amp things, because we definitely got to get those put in. Anybody, any more monsters want to pop out like last time? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, shoot, y'all, wait a second. Wait a minute. Wait. All right, well, they wasn't playing around. I don't know where all y'all came from, but you guys are going to die today. Oh my goodness, it is a bunch of them. Hold on, wait a minute. Jeez, okay. Yeah, I don't know where the hell they all came from, y'all, but yeah, that was a lot of zombies. Like, they was literally just chilling there, waiting. But okay. All right, so let's get moving here, y'all. Oh, hell no. I'm gonna try to skip them, y'all. Let it go! Come on! Come on! I am not trying to waste no unnecessary bullets if we don't got to, y'all. I am not trying to do that. 
Oh my goodness, y'all. Why is there so many zombies? Die! Oh my goodness. Like, this is terrible. I don't understand why there's so many zombies. Jeez. Like, did someone just dump a bunch of zombies in here when we, um, oh, he, oh, where? <laughs> Y'all, he was so close to biting on me. Oh my gosh. Jeez, like, they is tripping, y'all. They really want your girl Claire to get out. Oh. <laughs> they is not playing on this gameplay. Okay, so we got one of them. Uh, let's go ahead and put it in. I think it's the blue. Oh, I can't use that one. The red one? Okay. All right, so we got the red one put in. I guess we got to go ahead and take this. And now we got to go all the way on the other side, y'all. Oh, my gosh. And oh, I just realized something. Why do I got too much? Why do I got too much stuff here, y'all? Why? Okay, I think I should be good, though. I think I should be good. Let's go around and, yeah, try to put in this next, uh, what do you call it? Bug, I guess. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Uh huh? Chill, chill. Get out of my way. Like, they is not playing around. It's a zombie on every freaking corner. Oh, my gosh. All right, so now we got the other one. So let's go ahead and put this one in. Yas. And it would be coincidental that it's the ants again. Because remember how they was killing the little, uh, they killed the dragonfly and fed it to the ants. Like, oh, like something is really wrong with these kids. Oh, let's see the entrance. All right, well, let's go ahead and see what's popping off up here, you guys. Well, yeah, well, my heart would be beating fast, too. Oh, shit. Um, a miracle, a miracle realm? Okay. Here we go with the creepy ants again. It says, a picture of an ant is drawn on the wall. It appears that the keyhole is the mouth part. Okay. Not weird at all. What else we got going on? A dragonfly. It says, take the dragonfly. Okay. So let's look at that, y'all, and see what we got going on with that. It says, a dragonfly is designed so the wings can be detached. Okay. Let's go ahead and detach it then. The dragonfly wings have been detached. Okay, so now it's just a, a, um, I don't know. I don't know what you call that, but yeah. Something we got to use, I guess. I guess we go ahead and put that in that ant. So let's go ahead and put it in there. Uh-huh. So let's use that. Hold on. Oh. So what kind of room was this? Was they really playing up here as kids? Cause it just looks so weird. This family was really fucked up, guys. Oh my gosh. But whatever it is, it made another way up. So let's go ahead and head up here. I really wanted to get Claire to ride the horse real quick, you know, be a kid again real quick, but I don't think that's really appropriate. So, oh well, maybe next time. Anyway, let's see, <laughs> newspaper clip. It says a 10 year old girl genius graduated at the top of her class from a prestigious university. The International Corporation Umbrella Corporation offered her position of head researcher. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm guessing maybe that was Veronica, I'm guessing. Maybe. All right, and then what else we got going on here? It says a bunch of gadgets that's not useful. Okay, and then we got something glowing up there. And what's this? Ink ribbon. Okay, that's definitely something we may need. Um, so let's push this, y'all, because I definitely saw something glowing up there. To see what's popping off. Alright, let's see. Ah, oh, book. Okay. Confession letter. Ooh. 
confession. Ooh. All right. Alexia, my sister, is a genius and possesses unmatched beauty. She is everything to me. I will overcome any obstacle and be willing to risk my life for her. For Alexia, I must revive the glorious Ashford family which failed during the era of my father, Alexander. Together, we will restore our family name. Once that has been achieved, I will build a place where only nobles may gather. I cannot allow the unwashed to see my dear Alexia to whom my life is devoted to. She reigns the world's queen with her I was with I as her servant. Oh. That is my dream and how sweet it would be. Those accomplishments will be the proof of my love towards Alexia. It is the purpose of my existence. All other people are meaningless and shall soon prostrate themselves before Alexia and I, devoted to my beloved Alexia, Afra Ashford. Okay, so someone was a little uh, obsessive over their own sister. That's a little weird. Not a little, that is weird. Um, okay, so we see that he was obsessed with his sister and everything goes around his sister, his life, dedication, everything. All right. All right, y'all. So I guess we got everything we needed from here. Um, as we can see, these people was crazy and got some weird kind of, you know, ancest stuff going on between each other, it seemed like, because he just too in love with his sister. That is, yeah, no. Okay, so um, yeah, let's go ahead and head down here, y'all, and see what's for the pop off, if anything pops off. Oh. And she just act randomly. Okay, that that wasn't weird at all. All right, y'all. So we made it back down here. So let's see what's for the. Well, if anything pops up, oh, and here we go. Claire Redfield, hold it right there. We meet each other at last. A pity I must say goodbye so soon. I am Alexia Ashford. For the pride of the Ashford family, I will kill you. Gosh. Wait. What's oh, going on? And of course, on? your boy Steve pop up. Damn. Oh. Uh. Ah. Steve. A secret door. Uh, after her. Gosh. Yeah, hi, Steve. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. You got shot. I don't think that's just a scratch. <laughs> He's about it's just a scratch and you just got shot. Okay. Definitely. That is definitely a scratch. Oh. Um. Did someone just strip it now or what? It's blood and there's a wig? This must oh. be. Wait a minute, y'all. Wait a minute. Oh. So that's what we doing. What? And he's in so much shock. Wait a second. What just right. happened? I'm confused too, Steve. So there never was an Alexia nope. after all. You what mean, y'all don't know he thinks there's two people? <laughs> we okay, don't see. that's it. Let's get out of here. Oh, sh The self-destruct system has been That freak! Activated. He's trying to blow us up along oh, with the entire oh, facility. Wow. Come on, we gotta get to that airport. Right. She said, right. All right, y'all. So as we can see, Sir Afford was Alexia. Well, right now, anyway. Um, and yeah, he was in disbelief that he was his own sister. Definitely some crazy stuff going on, y'all. Definitely. Uh, but now we got an alarm going off. So now we got to figure out, like, how the hell we finna get off this island. <laughs> so let's go ahead and head back to the palace with all these 50,000 zombies that I'm not finna kill because y'all are not finna take all my bullets. Like, jeez. Every zombie, every corner, they just be wanting you to waste your bullets on this gameplay, y'all. Not for the happen with Chantelle. And if you're still watching, I know it's a little ghetto today with the camera, y'all. But thank you so much for bearing with me. You guys... Oh! Hold on a second! I guess the monster didn't like it because he smacked the crap out of 
gotta be like, oh, Arn, you should have never made this video ghetto. Because he smacked the crap out of me when I said that. But if you're still watching, thank you so much for tuning in. Definitely thumbs up. And if you're a new subscriber, if you want to keep getting more gameplays like this, highly recommend subscribing. Because I do weekly uploads. Try my hardest. I've been doing my hardest. And yeah, to stay consistent with weekly uploads. So definitely go ahead and tune in. All right, y'all. So she is hurt now because that monster smacked the crap out of her. Even though I don't know why he smacked the crap out of her so hard like that. Like, jeez. Like, he didn't even have to do that, though. All right. So now we know that this alarm is going off. So first things first, we don't need all this ink ribbon. So let's save it. Well, actually, let me get some health. And then we're going to save it. And now I feel like we got to use those three um, seals. Because now we're for the head to the airport, y'all. So let's go ahead and grab all three of these. And see what's popping off with your boy Steve. Uh, and then get a quick save in as well. Because we definitely need to go ahead and save it too. So let's save it. Because it's been a little hot minute. Yeah, let's see how much we got going on there. If it's too much, I'll just go ahead and wrap up the gameplay. But I feel like I haven't been playing that long. I don't know why. I could be wrong, but I feel like I haven't played that long. So we could just head over though and see what we got going on. And you still chilling here even with the alarm going off? Like you don't got nothing else to do. I guess he just want his food, y'all. He's like, I don't care. Oh. Clear. Oh, it was people survivors. already still on the island? We'd better get out of here too. It must have right. been somewhat happened because we didn't come across nobody. Hold on a second. All right, so it looks like we follow following Steve, y'all. Mm -hmm. Did we get everything that I feel like have we gained it already before you? Just want to make sure. We gotta get to that area. Nah, no shit, Steve. Uh, uh, uh. We gotta escape. Cause we have to before the island blows. Who's up? Uh, uh we got Steve coming and helping out because he likes to play. Uh, Alright. <laughs> I don't know why I just got so dramatic like that, but that's okay though. It's totally fine. All right. So it looked like we made it down here. How did they manage to get a submarine here? Like what? This facility is just wild. All right, Steve. You know you ain't gotta leave your girl behind now. You know you ain't gotta leave your girl behind. Wait for mine. Wait for mine. Okay. I don't want to do this alone. Liz. Liz. Oh, and we got more zombies. Oh, no, uh-uh. It's just the right way we go. Oh, Because I really don't remember. Um, I don't think this is. Maybe? Let's see. Her heartbeat isn't even fast, y'all. She's scared. She's like, look, we gotta get up out of here. I'm not gonna blow up. I got goals. I got things I need to do. Um, so yeah, this is not the right way. Um, let me check upstairs. <laughs> Lady, we know the self-destruct has been activated. We already know. Why do you think my heartbeat over here beating super fast? Because I already know what's going on. Okay, so yeah, that's definitely not the right way, y'all. Oops. So let's go ahead and hit the other direction. Because yeah, this is definitely not the right way. Oopsie, oopsie. Steve probably like, where did she go? Well, it ain't my fault that he decided to run all super fast and leave me because, you know, that wasn't cool either. So let's head back over there. I'm supposed to be over there. I don't even see him. Where he disappeared to? 
Because I sure don't see him over there. You so darcy. You just had to make sure you got that bite in. Gosh. Alright, so let's make sure we go the right way. Oh, hey, fishy fish. Hey, hey. I wonder if the fish are infected too, like zombies. But you know, that stuff, they be getting zombies. They be turning to zombies too. Alright, here you go, Steve. Hello. So, what's going on? Alright, so it looks like it's working, which is good. There we go. Um, Alright, and we got all three. Thanks to me. Because if it wasn't for me, Steve, we would have been in trouble, okay? How about that? Because I ain't see him put in looking work. To be honest with you, you shouldn't even be getting on this plane. To be honest with you. Because you didn't put no work in to help with this thing on submarine and this plane. Alright, so we got the thing, y'all. So let's go ahead and hit in here. He just chilling out. Yeah. That's what I thought. You put all that work in. Nah, that ain't cool, Steve. That's not cool at all. Her heart is like super beating, y'all. I hope she don't have a heart attack. Alright, so it looks like we got this here. Okay. So what's going on? Oh. No! What no shit? Unless we raise the bridge. Leave that to me. Oh, of course. He gets to just sit on his butt again. Like, oh, no, nah, Quell. Nah, you should have made him went on and did that. Because you worked hard for all those things on um seals. Alright, y'all. So let's go ahead and put some stuff away real quick. Um, because we don't know what we for to come across. I'm for to get my grenade launch out because I feel like somebody for to pop out real quick, y'all. And yeah, I don't want us getting out. So we're gonna grab two health sprays real quick. We're gonna do all that. Is there a save around here? Can I save it? Is that all oh, yeah it is? You know what? We're gonna save it too. There's some ink ribbon right there, girl. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, let me put some away real quick. Because I really feel like something's going to pop out from us, y'all. And I really don't want to sit up here and, yeah, get out. Because that would be terrible. Uh, okay. Hello? But to be honest with you, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. To be honest, we're going to save all this next action for the next game play. How about that? So, uh, next time we play, y'all, we know that we're trying to escape this island. We got a lot of, you know, pressure. You know, Claire seemed like she about to have a heart attack. And Steve sitting on his ass and get the whole game. But it's okay, though. Because we finna get off this island next game play. And we gonna see what obstacles await us. But either than that, y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed. You know, it's a little ghetto today, but... You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> but next week, we will be having more Resident Evil. And yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. You guys have a great night.